doing this problem or doing a problem like this, um, what we need to do is first at least guys have an idea of what the graph looks like, or at least what the region looks like. So if we're going to go and sketch, we should know e to the x has a x-intercept at 0, 1, horizontal asymptote at 0. Graph looks something like that. And then x equal, I'm sorry, g of x, let's call this f of x. And then g of x equals x, so that's just like up 1 over 1, right? And then that's what we call our identity function. Now, they're only asking us to find the region, uh, the vertical between the lines at x equals 0 and 1. So really, if you're just kind of, we're just trying to find that little region, right? OK? So you, typically what we need to do, there's a couple ways that we need to get our um, points here. Besides just getting the area, which a lot of us, especially if we're on a calculator problem, we could, we could just type this in. It's going to be relatively simple. Um, However, we do want to make sure that we are showing kind of our intervals. So when we want to find the area of this region, we know we want to find the area for our, as far as bounding from 0 to 1, right? And we basically want to find the area of area under the curve under g of x, but then again, we're like kind of subtracting f of x, correct? Right? So we're basically taking it from of e to the x minus x, the top curve minus the bottom curve. And that kind of makes sense too, guys. If you like figure out the area under e to the x is everything under there, and then you're subtracting away the area there, that's just going to give you the area of the region, right? Does that make sense? Really? And then obviously, that's going to be your height. And then we're multiplying that where we have our change, which will be our dx, OK? Now, this is something we can easily just kind of integrate. This isn't really anything um, difficult here. So when we go ahead and integrate, we have e integral of e to the x is just e to the x. And then we're going to have minus 1 half x squared. And we're going to integrate that from 1, or we're going to evaluate that from 1 to 0. So we have e to the 1 minus 1 half 1 squared minus e to the 0 minus 1 half 0 squared. Well, e to the 1 is just e. That becomes a minus 1 half. e to the 0 is going to be 1. So that's just going to be minus 1. And then uh, that obviously goes to 0. Recover that. And then we could bring this up. We could simplify that a little bit. E to the, let's do 2 over 2. So that's minus 2 to the 3 halves, right? And then obviously, guys, if you were going to be asked to calculate this, you know, you would be given a calculator. But we're saying this is a non calculator answer, so that would probably be like your simplified form for your area. Yes, no, it's OK. Relatively simple, right? Not too bad. It's like, oh, it's just really finding integrals. OK.